Good morning, friends. Welcome to this Saturday's morning prayer and reflection. My name is Lorraine, and I come to you from the parish of Our Lady of the Wayside here in Bluebell, Dublin. In today's Gospel, we hear Jesus answering a query regarding the practice of fasting. He teaches the people using certain metaphors and likens himself to a bridegroom, who is the master of the feast. As we start, let us pray that our hearts and minds may be opened and enlightened to receive His holy message. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel according to Matthew. Then the disciples of John came to Him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding attendants cannot mourn, as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one saws a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak, for the patch pulls away from the cloak, and the worst tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wine skins, otherwise the skins burst and the wine is spilled, and the skins are ruined. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. Fasting, along with prayer and almsgiving, is among the main spiritual practices we undertake in order to get closer to God. It is an ancient custom, observed especially by the prophets like Moses and the Israelites. Knowing this, we can imagine why John's disciples dared to ask Jesus, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? It is remarkable that Jesus referred to himself as a bridegroom and of his disciples as wedding guests. The bridegroom is the master of the wedding feast. His arrival and ongoing presence signals that the people should rejoice, not mourn. Similarly, Jesus is our master. He is the Messiah, the Chosen One, the Son of God. It is worth noting that the question on fasting comes from John's disciples. Let us remember that in another instance, John had sent some of his disciples to ask Jesus if he is the one who is to come. Jesus, by calling himself the bridegroom, is revealing to us who he is. He is the one, and he has the authority to teach us about spiritual matters and how best we can please God, who is our Father. Perhaps we can ponder upon this. If the bridegroom is central to a feast, how do we keep Jesus at the center of our faith? Our fasting and all our spiritual practices will have no meaning if our relationship with Jesus is not equally nourished. We need to trust in Jesus, friends. We have to rely on His mercy and His love, and not just on the merits of our good deeds. Of course, Jesus is not saying that His disciples, His wedding guests, are exempt from any form of self-sacrifice, in coming as the Messiah, Jesus awakened the eyes of many and disrupted the comfortable but unjust order of his society. If we are to be true followers of Christ, our faith will cost us many things. We have to be willing to accept that we have to let go of past sins, past hurts, and even past comforts. We cannot say we are true followers of Christ if we only choose to take on what is convenient and ignore the harder teachings of the Church simply because it is going against our own desires and our current way of life. As Jesus said, we cannot patch up an old cloak with a piece of unshrunk cloth, and we cannot pour new wineskins into old wineskins. This means we have to be willing to be transformed into new individuals, totally letting go of what is holding us back from being the person God made us to be. The lives that we lead and the faith that we profess should be in harmony with each other. Indeed, my friends, the love of Jesus is transformative. We should ask ourselves, do we trust in Him enough to follow His will, even when it is difficult to do so? What are we holding back from, and what do we need to let go of? That's all for today, friends. Thank you so much for joining us towards this morning prayer. We all hope you have a nice day and we hope to see you again tomorrow.